Good day. My name is Zandia Dizan, and we are going to present our research study. Our research is about the correlation of students' commitment and their academic performance, the grade 12 STEM students of Holy Child College of Davao. Now, we chose this kind of topic because as grade 12 STEM students, we know that doing this kind of research would benefit us. Now, many researchers have already conducted the same kind of research and have found out that there truly is a relationship between a student's commitment and their academic performance. And that kind of information would highly support our research that we are conducting. Hello, I am Prince Joshua and I will discuss the statement of the problem. This study aims to determine the correlation between student commitment and academic performance of grade 12 STEM students. 1. What is the demographic profile of students in terms of age, gender, and section? 2. What is the level of commitment of students in terms of showing willingness and determination to learn. 3. What is the level of academic performance of grade 12 STEM students? 4. What is the percentage of association between the level of student commitment and academic performance? 5. Is there significant relationship between the level of student commitment and academic performance of grade 12 STEM students in Holy Child College of the Bau Jacinto campus. This is what we have come up with our conceptual framework. So now I am going to discuss our theories. So each of every student has to attain sociological needs. So the search for a theory that is suitable for our study the self-determination theory or the STD. It is a theory that has three important needs for a student on ongoing sociological development. Those three are distinguishes the needs for individuality, integrity, and relatedness. STD also helps students to internalize which they experience a sense of belonging because its importance in promoting growth processes, such as growth of inner motivation and the incorporation of extrinsic motivation among students. Therefore, self-determination truly supports our study as it states the differences in students' motivation and satisfactions. Once you are motivated and determined to go to school, it's the same thing as to be committed. So now, let's proceed to our significance of our study. So in this part of the study, it will be beneficial to those who are seeking information about the relationship of the commitment and academic performance of students. So first, we have students. They would be aware of what could happen to their commitment to learning and how it could affect their academic performances. Second, teachers. Teachers would be aware that their action could be a factor to changes in students' commitment and performance. Lastly, future researcher. This study would help providing reliable information to be used in their study. Hello, I am Lord Antonio Cain, one of the members of the students group, and I am going to explain our research design. Our main focus of the study is to evaluate the relationship between students' commitment and academic performance to the students of STEM 12 at Holy Child College of the Bar, Jacinto Campus. We agree to use correlational research method as our research design because correlational research method is a type of non-experimental research method which analyzes, measures two factors, gets it, and surveys the measurable 
relationship also conclude that is uh, whether a negative or positive relationship exists among these two variables. So it is relevant for us to use correlational research method as our as our research design. For our research locale, we are planning on conducting our research on Holy Child College of Davao Jacinto Campus. Research respondent. The respondents of this study are the grade 12 STEM students in Holy Child College of Davao. In this research, 50 students who recognize themselves what is the relation of their commitment and academic performance. The 25 of the respondents are from Sinai grade 12 STEM students and another 25 from Lebanon grade 12 STEM students. Hello, I'm Jennifer M. Amites, and I will discuss our research instrument. So, research instrument is a tool used to obtain, measure, and analyze data related to our subject. Research instrument can be test, surveys, scale, questionnaire, or even checklist. So, we decided to use a close-ended question to gather reliable data. Our survey questionnaire composed of 25 items and four-point scale stated that always, frequently, seldom, and never. The purpose of this is to assure the strength of our study, and that's all. Thank you.